State Peace and Development Council's spoke authoritative team meets Special Envoy of United Nations Secretary General Mr. Ibrahim Iqbula Gambari at the Guest House of National Defense College in Yangon Friday. It was attended by Leader of State Peace and Development Council's spoke authoritative team, Minister for Information Brigadier General Joseph and members, Minister for Foreign Affairs Unyangwe and Minister for Culture Major General Ken Aumye. Minister Brigadier General Joseph made clarification on Myanmar's political situation to Mr. Gambari. He said that previously, Your Excellency visit was arranged to be in April. However, in response to your request, the visit was brought forward to this early March. We have made arrangements for Your Excellency to meet with those who should be met and those who have asked for to meet during the visit. Your Excellency has yesterday met with the Minister for Foreign Affairs, Diplomatic Missions, officials of UN agencies and ICRC. Today, after meeting with us, it has been arranged for Your Excellency to meet with the Referendum Convening Commission. It is also arranged for Your Excellency to meet who, with those who should be met in the following days. It shows that we recognize the good officers rule of UNSG and Your Excellency as well as our willingness to cooperate. As you may aware of our team, a spoke authoritative team of the State Peace and Development Council. We would like to express at the beginning that Your Excellency can discuss with us frankly and comprehensively. Before your visit, Secretary General Mr. Ban Ki-moon sent a letter dated 19 February to our Head of State, Senior General Teng Shui. The letter stated that the UNSG recognized the constructive developments of Myanmar after your two visits, as well as the announcements to hold national referendum in May and multi-party democracy general elections in 2010, as they are the time frame of the seven-step roadmap. We would like to express thanks to the UNSG for welcoming and recognizing them. Moreover, the UNSG's letter urged to discuss about five points on our country. Regarding these five points, I would like to explain first our stance and what we do. The point mentioned in Mr. Ban Ki-moon's letter is to ensure all inclusiveness in constitution drafting process. As Your Excellency has known, the constitution has already been drafted and it should not be amended again. The majority of the people do not demand to amend it. However, fundamental principles and detailed basic principles for f the next point is to have a credible, time-bound and all-inclusive discussion between the government and the Aung San Suu Kyi, including possible support by the United Nations. In this regard, the National Convention is the most credible and all-inclusive political discussion. Now, discussion between ministers the announcement further stated that if she declares so, the head of state himself will met her. That announcement is the basis of all existing situations today. The government opens the door for win-win situation. The last point is to establish inclusive national economic forum for addressing economic and social affairs and cooperative mechanism for humanitarian assistance sector with the assistance of UN. Regarding this, I have clarified during your previous visits. We appreciate for you, agreed upon by ASEAN countries, non-aligned movement member countries and neighboring countries. In fact, the situations today in some countries are very bad and posing a great threat to regional and international peace and stability. It can be seen that the situations in those countries are much worse than the situation of our country. However, all round pressures are being put on our country's internal affairs, which are not as bad as these international issues. It is not fair. The United Nations to be reliant on by global countries, by especially by small countries, should stand fair and square without bias. As a matter of the fact, the UN and you favor 
democratic process and so does the international community, Myanmar people and the Demado government. For the fourth time, you visit Myanmar from 3rd November to 7th November. During your trip, we showed our seriousness in the UNSG and Your Excellency as well as our willingness to cooperate by appointing Wu Aungji as Minister for Relations to discuss with Do Aung San Suu Kyi, lifting curfew, releasing prisoners and making arrangements for you to meet individuals, parties and organizations you wish. In addition, the prevailing conditions and current situations of Myanmar were also clarified. We also explained to you that September protest took place due to the instigation of the anti-government groups. Moreover, we arranged trips for you to witness the situation that last September, few townships such as Yangon and Mandalay saw protests of a small number of people and monks and the remaining parts of the nation were stable and peaceful. The majority of the people did not favor riots and were pleased with present conditions and stability, development and peace in border areas of national races. In addition, we made arrangements for you to witness the support of the majority of the people for successful completion of the National Convention. We also informed you the fundamental principles and detailed basic principles adopted at the National Convention. We also presented you all necessary evidences including CDs and books. We made the arrangements to enable Your Excellency, the Special Envoy of UNSG, to know and understand the points being claimed by a handful of anti-government groups, prevailing situations of the nation, and the stances of the majority of the people. I believed that you would assess the situation and stand on the correct side without any bias. But the actual results was not like that. When you arrived in Singapore after leaving Myanmar, you on behalf of Do Aung San Suu Kyi issued a statement concerning her stance. We have nothing to say about Do Aung San Suu Kyi's act to unilaterally violate the original agreement first. But we are very astonished and dismayed for your involvement in this matter. We have been dealing in good faith with you as a mediator, a special envoy of UN Secretary General. Sadly, you went beyond your mandate. Hence, the majority of people are criticizing it as a biased act. Some even believe that you prepared the statement in advance and released it after coordinating with Do Aung San Suu Kyi. Because of the statement you released on behalf of Do Aung San Suu Kyi, our mutual confidence building work was hard followed by undesirable obstacles and difficulties and annoyances and confusion among the nationalities. In the statement, Do Aung San Suu Kyi in her condemning tone said, it is my duty to give constant and serious considerations to the interests and opinions of as broad a range of political organizations and forces as possible, in particular those of our ethnic nationality races. Actually, other political parties and national races organizations are not her subordinate parties, so they are going to deal with their own affairs and requirements. Hence, they have never accepted the statement released by Do Aung San Suu Kyi of her own accord. Parties of nationalities and ethnic armed groups responded to the statement with harsh denouncements. The statement was dangerous to the degree of hurting the prevailing peace and stability of the nation, in addition to harming their already achieved national unity. In this regard, the government had to restore the situation to normal while maintaining national stability and unity. Mr. Gambari discussed that he has trust and confidence and he will continue to support Myanmar. He will also convey the minister's clarification to the Secretary General. He also congratulated the recent announcement on the time frame for the government's implementation of seven-step roadmap. He suggested that it would be better to implement the roadmap with inclusiveness of all the people. He also stated that Myanmar affairs are the cause of all Myanmar people who are responsible. He also recognized Myanmar's willingness to cooperate with the UN.
He also said that the UN will fully cooperate for the nation.